Hey, what's going on today, guys? As you can see, I still haven't finished that rack yet. But I get, I get in these moods like I'd be real motivated to do something. And I start it, and then one thing go wrong, and it throws me off, and I don't feel like finishing anymore. That's what happened. Um, but I'm thinking I'm about to make up a like a stencil to make the process of putting them um, the bins in here a little bit easier because I want them 18 inches apart. I got those 18 inches apart by using a uh, tape measure to get the distance that I wanted from each other. Um, but I think I'm going to make it easier by using these boards. I'm going to cut them down to 16 inches and then I'm going to make like a one-sided frame if it makes any sense. So I'm going to cut these ones into 14 inches. Uh, I'm going to cut four of them into 14 inches and I'm going to set them on here. Oh, sorry, 16 inches. And then I'm going to put the two by two on top of there so it'll make it 18 inches. Then I can get it and I can set it on here. And then when I make the frames, these ones right here, that's what is actually the top of the, will be the top of the bin. So uh, I set that on top of there and then I don't have to worry about trying to balance balance the uh, frame I'll give you an example I got this one that I built for one of these bins so this is basically what I'm building that's sitting right there so instead of trying to balance this in here I'm gonna yeah I can see that instead of trying to balance it in here while I screw it in I'm gonna make a platform that I can just set it on in here and then it'll be exactly the distance that I needed from it from the um, the previous one, and it make it easier for me to just screw it in. So that's what I'm gonna build right now, and I'm gonna do one I'm gonna do one of the frames with you, and then as a, that's gonna be it on this. And next time I show you this, it's gonna be um, a done deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these boards now. This is my tape measure and marker. So um, let me get these. I need four of them. It's two. If my memory serves correct, I think these are 24 inches right now. Let's see. Yep, 24 inches. So I gotta cut, making them to 16 inches. Cutting eight inches off. Let me set you guys up so I can uh, use both my hands. Again, I'm making these uh, 16 inches because I want a total. I want a total distance between the, the bins to be 18 inches. And this is these are two by twos. So once I cut these to 16, and then mount these on top like this, it's going to be a total of 18 inches. And then I'm just gonna set that on there. And then it'll be very easy for me to um, get a, the distance and screw them in without a hassle. Those those two were a hassle. So we'll cut it in 16 inches, yeah, 16 inches. And I'm only gonna measure this one. And then once I cut this one, I'm just going to copy, copy the cut for the other boards. Alright, there go my four pieces. Now I have to get the 2x2 two two to the correct size. Let me go back over here and show you the measurements on these. I made these frames. This has been a frame. This is one side, and this is the other side. This side right here is 21 inches from there, from there to there, 
And then this one is 36 and a half inches from front to back. And what I did for the two by fours, these ones are mounted directly to the back like this sideways so that the bin when it slides it has a natural stop like that you see that it stops at at these and on the front i put it on the side and mounted it the opposite way so that i could pull the tray all the way out but i'm um, gonna we'll go ahead and cut two pieces pretty much i'm gonna mirror this uh, two pieces that are uh, 21 inches and two pieces are 36 and a half so that the um, the little, well, I don't know what to call it, the kickstand. It's like a stencil. I don't know what, what a proper name will be. A stencil. Uh, hmm. I don't know if you know the name. Once I, once I finish, you guys tell me what the name should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces. So I need two pieces that are 21 inches and two pieces that are 36 and a half. So let me measure these. See if any of these cut pieces um, are long enough so that I don't need to cut a good piece, a full piece. So that one's good enough to cut the 21 out of. See this one. So I can cut my 21 out of these two pieces. And I don't think I have any 36, so I'm gonna have to cut the 36 ones out of the, the new beams over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two, and then, um, get two of those and cut them into 36 and a half actually i'm just just 30 i'm just gonna do 36 on the dot and that'll be good enough so i'm gonna mount you guys up again and do the do these cuts real fast same thing again i'm just gonna measure one of them and then copy so i'm getting 21 inches All right, I got my two pieces that are 36 inches and my two pieces that are 21 inches. Now I just gotta mount these, or screw these together. And this is pretty much what the frame is as well. So it's pretty much giving you a good idea what the frame looks like before I mount them. that so this is the same exact thing that i'm doing on the tops and i'm just mounting some of this screen right here on top of it with the staple gun and i'm putting a two by four in the middle like that for more support for the screen but it's going all the way through so it's full length it's and matching it is 21 inches like these and um and then i just staple it roll a I roll the um, screen on top of it and then just staple all the way around it and then cut the excess screen off. So that's a good example of what the top of those look like. And I just put one screw on each side. Screw, 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 and then screw, screw on this. And I'm not measuring these, but if you do it, you can. So it could be exactly the same on each one. I just need some type of brace close to the middle. So when I put the light fixture on top of here, it won't sag down. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all put together and um, mount the, the legs to it. So these is pretty much gonna sit on, sit on like this or like that. But I'm gonna screw it in. And then it'll have four legs. It's going to be like a pretty much like a mini table. 
and then once I set it on there, it'll give me the exact distance that I need between each one. So when I set set the real frame on top of it, all I gotta do is screw the screw the real frame in, and then I'm gonna build another real a real top, so we can go ahead and mount one more right now. Okay, so I got it finished. You can see, well, oh, this one came out a little bit. But the purpose is to have this for, for the, um, the top can go on top of, and it can hold it while I screw it in. guys so I got the frame done so now all I gotta do is put the screen on and what I do is I just roll out the extra screen and give a little extra about like that then I take my staple gun and I just You wanna, I'll go around two edges first, so I'll go this side, then that side, and then I'll put tension on the screen when I staple the other sides in the middle, so that I can get as much slack out of the screen as possible. Okay, got it all stapled in. You can see, and then I just cut it right here along that side, and then I cut it more detail around these edges. So now I'll come over here and just set it in there. See, this is a, a little stencil thing that I made. It's not perfect, but it kind of helped me. And you do this or have somebody help you if you need. Now that's exactly 18 inches from the next one. So now I'll have to screw, 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 and then figure out how to get this out of here. So it's gonna take four screws, and I'm gonna pre-drill it so that I don't crack it on this. It did crack when I did the, uh, the little brace. So I'm gonna try to avoid cracking the actual unit that I'm gonna be using.
Okay, so I broke my contraption, but it got the job done. I think if I build another one, I gotta make it a little bit smaller than the actual fit because it's so tight trying to get it out. But for the purpose of this video, it got the job done. So now I'm gonna come over here with the bin. Actually, I put it in upside down. Um, I put it upside down, but it can work either way. It's probably even better upside down. So now I gotta cut two more pieces like this to fit on top of here. But first, I gotta put some CDs down. So it creates a little space. Yeah, I like it better upside down. Next time I'm gonna do it the other way. So yeah, I'm gonna go cut those two pieces, come back when I Actually, my phone's gonna die. So, uh, so all I gotta do is build, cut two more pieces like this, and then that's what holds the the um, rack into pay into place. I mean, the um, bin into place. But I'm gonna flip this over. Then I'm gonna add on to the unit so that I have a total of nine unit. So two more like this. If you're not subscribed and you made it this far. You might as well go ahead and subscribe and continue to watch my progress. Take any any of my ideas, make them your own, add on to my ideas. This is basically a rat rack. I just modified it a little bit. Um, a lot of people use racks like this for their rats, breeding rats, but I'm using it for a lizard rack. So I just made more space in between. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this project or well, this one unit and if I, if my phone charge up charge up enough by the time I finish uh, putting another piece on I'll show you guys it standing up right all right guys so the unit is done it's not perfect it is my first one so it is room for for improvement but all these will work it will work no animals can get out of them. And these tubs are pretty big. So now all I gotta do is decorate these three bins. And again, let me get a light so I can show you why I made so much space in between. See, that's a dome light. And it gives enough space so it won't get too hot underneath here. And it gives them a good basking spot. And I'm gonna have uh, three more units next, next there. And I'm gonna put a full um, T5 high output. UVB light across so they have heat and um, UVB and also I can get rid of this and just run UVB if it's too hot so it's multi-purpose again it's not the best I know I can do better than this but I just have to get a rough draft of what I need to do now I can see I didn't pre-drill nothing really so I can I can avoid that by pre-drilling. Um, I know the measurements, so I can build a little faster. Um, my little unit that I use to gauge the distance really didn't work because it was hard to get it back out. 
once I put the uh, thing in and it is, this rack is a little bit crooked. That's the one I use. Crooked. That's the one I use um, that on. So it is a little crooked, but all the gaps are tight. So no lizard can't get out of any of the bins. So it's fu so to be function it'll be functionable. It just it could be a little better. And again, it's just a um, rat rack that I modified to fit what I need. Um, people have been building these type of racks for the longest. Um, I could build a better bottom as well. I probably could put it on wheels. So it's a lot of room for improvement, but I just have to get one out of the, out of my system. Um, and let my brain flow and um, see which ways I can make it better. But, yeah. One, one down and two more to go. And by the time I get to the last one, it'll be a lot better than this one. Then I'll be highly ready to get rid of this one. But, yeah, let me get back so you guys can see it again. That's it. So yeah, all we needed, all I need to do is finish two more, um, set them up, put water bowls. I like I said, I'm gonna be using this bed in here on one side, and I want to use newspaper on the front, and I'm gonna put the food bowl and water bowl on this side with the newspaper. I'm not gonna swap the newspaper out if it get messy. Newspaper or paper towel, either one. And then in the back, this is all, it's all plant-based. So I can scoop out anything that I need to be, need to scoop out. And um, put a lay box in there with the female ones. So I might, I think I might just, when I wake them up, just put the pair in there together and let them warm up together. So and start heavy feeding. Or maybe not, just keep the females long i'll figure it out later but i just want to show you guys the finished result and hopefully you guys understood what i did on here i try to get it the best angles i can and explain the best way i can on what went on so if you guys this can be used for anything baby tortoises you can use for even bearded dragons baby bearded dragons instead of a rack like that you can build a rack like this it might take up a little, take about the same space. That's four foot. That's pretty much four feet too. So it'd be about the same space, but just a different look. Depending on the temperature of the room, you can make them a lot closer together and you can get more levels in there. This is actually six feet tall. So I bought eight foot, um, Two by fours, cut them down to six feet. And then I used um, two by twos to build the frames. Which the frames again was um, 21 inches by uh, 36 and a half on all three. And then I put the two by four brace in the middle so that when I stapled the screen, it has a little bit more um, strength so it won't be so flexible. So when I set the light on, it won't. Fold all the way down. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple, but it'd be it's highly um useful. And like I said, it's multiple you can use multi species in there. You can a lot of people use stuff like this for blue tongue skinks. And you don't have to use any lighting with that one. So you can actually put it a lot closer on that one. But unless you want to use lighting on them. But yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video, get it out for you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it, learn something from it, or take this idea and add your own touches to it and get it to your, um, to your liking. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.